readers. Welcome to the Weekend Edition. Today we're reading a book inspired by Earth Day. And it is called Why Should I Save Energy? Illustrated by Mike Gordon. Why should I save energy? In my family, we're careful about how we use energy. We never used to be careful. We wasted lots of energy. We used the car all the time. We always left the lights on. We turned the heat on full blast. And we took hot baths with the water nearly up to the top. Hmm. One evening, my friend Robert was playing at our house. Suddenly, there was a power outage. Oh, no! We've had a lot of power outages in California, haven't we? Uh-huh. And um, we, ha we had dinners, and it was Halloween one time, and um, my mom put a candle on and told me a story. Mm -hmm. I thought electricity was right there whenever we needed it. Just switch it on. Robert said that we must save energy. Why should I save energy? Robert knew a lot about energy because he had learned it about it at school. Energy is precious. Electricity is made by burning fuel. That's coal, oil, and gas, said Robert. Cars, trains, and buses also run on fuel. Our teacher says the world's fuel supplies won't last forever. If we're not careful, they will run out, said Robert. Then he asked, what do you think would happen if our homes ran out of energy? There would be no power for cooking or heating. We'd get cold, and all our food would be cold too. And what, would, what do you think would happen if energy ran out at school? No computers today, kids. Sandwiches again. Oh, no. And what do you think would happen if, if the whole town ran out of energy? Buses and trains wouldn't run, so people couldn't get around. And nothing would reach the stores. It's mine. How, so how can we save energy? I know, just stay in bed. There are many ways to save energy, said Robert. Turn off the lights when you don't need them. Oops. Hey. Close windows and doors when the heat is on. And try putting a sweater on if you feel cold rather than heat. We do that at our house, don't we? Mm-hmm. Going to school by bus or train uses less full of fuel than going by a car. You could ride your bike or walk, said Robert. When we lived in New York City, we used to walk to school, didn't we? Mm-hmm. You could share a ride. Robert was right. Saving energy is easy. And you might find yourself doing new things. Saving energy saves money, too, so you can have extra treats now and then. Ice cream cones. That's the end. What did you think about that book? It was good. Very good. It's just, um, it's about Earth Day because energy is really precious to Earth. Yeah. Did you relate to any of the ways that they save energy? Were any of those things that you do already? Mm-hmm. Like what? Um, we uh, walked to school, like you said, in New York, 
and um my um my mom walks to school. I do, yeah. And we we um you could try that doing that one time if you want greeters. Yeah, you guys could do that if you live close enough to your schools. Or you could share a ride or take a bus or a train to use less fuel. What about turning off lights when we're not in the room? Do you do that? Mm-hmm. We do, huh? I think we're pretty energy conscious in our house. And we live in a place where um, because of the power shutoffs, we, sometimes we have rolling blackouts in, New, in California. And now um, during fire season, we have public safety power shutoffs. So we're pretty, um, we actually kind of know how to survive without any energy. We've gotten kind of used to it, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Is there anything that inspired you that you might want to do that's different that we're not doing already? Um, uh, well, um, well, I don't really know. There was a lot of stuff that we did in that book. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, So maybe, readers, maybe you guys could try to implement one of those things, like turning off the lights when you leave the house, or trying to do maybe a car share, like a carpool, with other people to get to school. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, well, readers, we'll be back tomorrow with another book for Earth Day. Until then. Bye!